Same question too. Mr. Larry Kabrowski. Boy, thank you for that. That's the heart of who I am. I uh, was on the Charleston County School Board where I took the fight for, against political correctness and, and I saw firsthand the, what the U.S. Department of Education has done. And you have to remember there wasn't always a U.S. Department of Education. This came up in the debate between Nixon and Kennedy in 1960. And if you look at the trajectory of what happened to public education since we federalized it, it's gone downhill. Yeah. It's imposed political correctness and they have distorted our Constitution. They took the prayer out of our schools and they separated <laughs> what was most intimate and important in our communities and our schools. And whatever your religion was, it started the day in a, in a moment of reverence and awe. And there's nothing in the Constitution, the First Amendment, that prohibits uh, prayer in school. It's elitism and, and it separated us. I would abolish the U.S. Department of Education. And I would fight for school choice. I, and what they did with education, when I was on the, the school board, they instituted something called cooperative learning in group grades where they would put the brightest and most hardworking students with the slowest and least hard to work. And you can imagine the results, that it was like socialism and education, exactly what they're doing with the economy. Now, the same people who were first in public education now control our government. And that was the day I took my oldest daughter out of school and I started to homeschool her. And I also was uh, on the South Carolina Charter Public School Board, which we need to open charter schools. And uh, there's nothing more precious to each and every one of us than the education of our children. And that's for us to define and not by the people in Washington. Thank